Hello. Yes, that's right. You see, British nationalist candidate standing in the forthcoming council elections in May should be working hard now and riding high on the belief many will be elected. But sadly, that's not going to happen, is it? No. In fact, we haven't even got a credible or respectable British Nationalist Party to get behind, let alone stand for, have we? Oh no. In its place we have what I'd call bogus nationalism, where once mighty nationalist political parties and successful ones, like the once mighty National Front and the once successful BMP, have been hijacked and taken over by the enemy. Others have been created by the state in the form of Anne-Marie Waters for Britain, Paul Golding's Britain First. That's what I'd call bogus nationalism. That's what we have now instead of real British nationalism like we once did, right? The once successful BMP was taken over by Hope Not Hate Spies, Adam Walker, Clive Jefferson and a few others. And Nick Griffin has surrendered it to them without a fight even. And he's now spouting nonsense which I'll get to in a minute but given the state of the nation the mess Theresa May has made of Brexit and the backlash on the horizon we should be riding high shouldn't we exactly but we're not all we have is bogus nationalism Nick Griffin on his Facebook talking about this long war for cultural community and physical existence in white Areas that are surrounded by hostile neighbours. You see, where you're wrong on this, Nick, this is where you're, you're wrong big time. The public's not interested in some drawn out long war with anyone, right? They're not interested, right, in uh, preserving their culture, community or physical presence, wherever they live. They're only interested in what's happening now, right? And if they believe things are getting too hot where they live, they'll move. And then they'll move, and then they'll move, and that's what will happen. No one is signing up for your long war for uh, cultural community and physical existence. They'll just move away. That's the masses for you. That's why what you're saying is dead before it's even got off the ground. I mean, and also, when's this being implemented and how? And are you going to lead this crusade? Can you please let me know? I've left a... Um, a comment on your, your Facebook, I'll leave the link below. It's a load of nonsense, Nick. The public's not interested in some long war with anyone to preserve or fight for culture, community and physical uh, survival. They're not interested. The day that it comes to that, like I've said, they'll just move or hide under the kids' bunk beds and give in. Our people are not made of stuff like that now. And also, we don't need to go down that road. We need to go down the road that's in front of us now. Golden opportunities we keep missing. Golden opportunities you dismiss for this nonsense and fantasy. No doubt you're going to put in Reconquista too. But once again, we're missing golden opportunities here. Right? I don't know what the future holds and all of us do. But at the moment, let's take advantage of what's there in front of us, like council elections, the Brexit fiasco, and many, many uh, other tragedies that are now happening to our country and our people. Instead of fantasy world, Nick Griffin. Okay, thank you.